Welcome everybody today again. I I'm just enamored by what we are going to bring out forth today. And uh, generally, we go from the book, which we will in uh, chapter 17, called the Universe of Our Faith, and the book called Eternity Invading Time. However, Dr. Rainey has also has a website that's rmm.live that has, and if you haven't got it, please go sign up for this. Listen, people, I've been through in church for 50 some years, and I've heard all teachings on faith, but I have never heard it the way that he masterfully uh, presents it from the revelatory realm of understanding what true faith is. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm in awe of what God is saying through him. And also the value of really understanding faith, because I'll just say it from when I heard, not only when I read it in this book, but also in rmm.live, I heard some things that give me the permission to reconcile some things that I thought I did in faith, but it didn't come across that way. It didn't end up in faith. It ended up in tragedy. And I'm saying this because I want people to understand something as we get into the subject today. I know there's many, many of you that watch this and will see this, that you thought things that you prayed for in faith, but it didn't come through in the value of what you were having faith for. And it caused a strike in the soul or in the heart that a pain began to uh, subside in your soul. And to this day, your reference, I'll just say it to you this way, your reference will be greater to that pain than trying to put in another thing for faith to get something done. And I'm I'm just... Uh, really excited today with Dr. Rennie to expand what faith really is. And I'm going to jump between his book. I'm going to jump what he's been saying on RMM dot uh, live. You've, yeah. you've got to sign up for that. But I'm Dr. Rennie, I'm so excited because I understand the value of the power of what you're saying in this realm will mm -hmm. actually settle some issues for people uh, of the past that, that has caused pain by not understanding the fullness of this, but it also will free people to yes. the value of what real faith is and how to obtain the realities of what God's original intent for faith. And yes. I, I don't even know, you know, it's, it's, it's such a vast subject uh, that we could spend hours. Yeah, right. yeah absolutely. Because I know you're going to get through it wrong, but you're not just, you know, the spirit of all just told me, That's the it. teachings that we have on RMM, and if you don't have RMM, I encourage you to sign up for it, RMM uh, live. I really encourage you all to get it. This is what I heard when you were saying this to the people. Is that a lot of faith teaching brought people into bondage in faith. Yeah, that's correct. I'm hearing your voice now. And that's why so many people right now are living in bondage to something that is not God. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's it's something that you have to be liberated from because you can't move on to your liberated, you know. And so that the misnomer is because of what we've called faith. It isn't. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very interesting. I'm so sorry. I just, I just wanted to say because if I didn't have a forgot. Oh, there's but, yeah. Dr. Randy, there is nothing to say sorry about. This is the very thing that people need to hear. A father of the, of the faith, a general in the faith, needs to settle the issue for them. A true father, you know, I think it comes from that statement in the Bible, there are many teachers, but not many fathers. See, a teacher will just take the a faith and if they the, the way they want to hear it, or they package it, and they spit it out there. But a father will check it and make sure that the children receive it in the correct manner, so they get the maximum uh, potential of what God was saying in his word. So I hear you very very mm -hmm. clearly. This is a big deal, people. We, You have to understand the power of what is about ready to be released here. So, Because I've dealt with people in the soul realm for years, and as Dr. Rennie has too, mm -hmm. and it usually goes back to a situation where they feel that God didn't come through, and, yeah. that, and they said, I had faith. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to tell you, there are things that we do not understand in the value of what God was trying to establish from the glory realm where faith resides. Yes. Amen. Dude. That it, it is the glory realm contain. I could feel easy if I say it. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm trying to package this. I'm, I'm trying to say which way we want to do this, but faith resides in the glory realm. It's yeah. all that comes out. So I'm going to say a couple of things and I'm just going to release you to go Dr. Rennie because people are going, what does Dr. Rennie have to say? <laughs> and so, you know, you said in your book coming out of it, you know, revelation, <clears throat> Um, reason can't comprehend revelation yes. because, you know, revelation is from the mind of God. And yes. um, it's it's a fascinating thing that I'm going to say to this, Dr. Rennie, and I, I 
want to also come from what you've taught on the website, um, rmm.live, that in Hebrews 11, 1, mm -hmm. now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. And I know we've touched this before, but there is in a, in appearance to, if you read it for face value for what it is, if now faith is, which mm -hmm. means it's the now of God, and yes. then you have uh, uh, things that are hoped for. Well, hope yeah. is not now. So mm -hmm. immediately, it, there's almost like a contradiction. But I've learned that anytime mm -hmm. there's a contradiction in the appearance, it appears that it's contradiction. There's a revelation there. Amen. Amen. Yes. So I want, I'm just going to leave that right there because this could go many ways. And I'm mm -hmm. um, too excited for the people to get this. So I'm just going to say, yeah. let's begin to break that down and yeah. see how this all unfolds today. Uh, because sure. this needs to be understood. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. If you want to unlock that, we're all ears. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll start with this. Revelation is the age of God. Everything about God is always to be revealed. It's never reasoned. Mm -hmm. All reasoning is from the natural world. Mm -hmm. Well, reason has never been able to comprehend or accept the supernatural. Faith is supernatural. So straight away, we know that faith is outside the jurisdiction of reason. So the answer to faith is not in reason, it's in revelation. So when it starts out by saying now, now, it starts out by saying a big now. That's like to me saying, wow. Well, yeah, when exactly. somebody says, wow, something happened. Yeah. When you say now also, every time when you say, every time when you look at the word now in the Bible, something happened or something was in the process of happening. It mm. depends on where you caught it. Mm, yes. Right there is the key. There are people who come in part way of something. It's like me, it's like me, and I just, I just, as I'm talking to you, I'm saying, it. it's like me seeing God do something, but I've always seen. And then somebody's seen it for the first time. Well, I've never left the place where God's always done it. So to me, I've always been there. So to me, it's always happening. Mm -hmm. For somebody else, it just happened. Right, just, right. So what is so powerful about it is, so when it starts out by saying now, was it the buildup to get to now or was it where it came from that made it now? So good. You see what I'm trying to say? Oh, I now, get it. The cross <laughs> removed the baggage and the bondage of the past. That's the key right there. Putting us in the presence of God, but in the tense of God. The tense of God is the name of God now. There you go. I am <clears throat> and now are one. Yeah. So only when a person realizes what the cross has done, do they understand that nothing is going to happen. Mm -hmm. For us, we've come to where it's we are we are at the place where it's happening because we just got here but god right. has always been yeah. Yeah. so in other words what makes that now valid is that it came from the future to the present mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it didn't come from the past which is a build-up to that present mm -hmm. wow so when so when we speak a thing we're not speaking a thing to make it happen. We're speaking a thing from original intent, which means it already happened. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, so let's, you said some uh, profound things there. One of them was now you're in the tense of God, the, the now of God. We arrive finally to the I am and the now yes. of God. Yes. And as you begin to unfold that, Dr. Rennie, because this is so powerful, people, I, 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 I'm, what I'm hearing is I'm hearing all the frustrations of the years of people trying to figure it out. They couldn't quite make it. They couldn't. And I know they're still tormented by how does this work? 
because yes. we were told so many things to in the faith realm and and I know I'm speaking from a depth of you know some understandings that we won't get to today and that's mm -hmm. why I'm so excited at least let's uncork this thing so we can really make this thing go sure, but sure. even in that tense of God so ex mm -hmm. if you can help us out here in explaining now faith is the substance of things hoped for because yes. it would appear that hope is established but it's it's not it's not the now of god it's not hope is when you're hoping for something that's coming yeah, it's coming exactly 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 but then the key is where is it coming from mm. you see this hope for is the hope is coming from the future to the present <laughs> yes. where we look at it from the flip side where it's the present looking to the future Got it. Got it. Yes. Yeah. And so that's why there's just there's things there because now faith is a substance. Stop right there. Let's sit back up even before we get to hope. It's a substance, yes. but it's not the totality. Right. Exactly. exactly. Can you unfold that a little bit? Because that is so powerful. Well, the Greek, the Greek word for substance is the word upastasis. Mm -hmm. And it means something that stands under and support. So it's not the fullness. It's just supporting. It's a good word for you. It's the supporting mechanism. Got <laughs> it's it. It's the foundation from which everything comes from. So in other words, when the Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. Without faith, you have no foundation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's the killer right now, is that there is no foundation in the church right now for supernatural activity to take place. There it is. There it is. Because... There it is. And I, I, I'm going to speak, I'll speak for myself and maybe for you. The years of people listening to word, but never having the knowing of the actual event of that supernatural realm. Yes. And they, they say they have faith for it, but they've never experienced it. Exactly. In 20, 30, 40, 50 years, they sit there and they, they go, well, yes. then they use it as, well, it must be the will of God. And that is not the will of God when death is racking its battle acts through the, the body of Christ. It's not the will of God. I just, exactly. I, I know the goodness of God too well that, that he wouldn't do that. Exactly. Exactly. And, and so this is something that uh, I believe that you are carrying in such a, a powerful way because how faith, can you just touch it ever so slightly? And I won't ask for depth in it, but how faith is tied to that glory realm. What, how yeah. does mirroring that together? Cause people need to be reminded of that because I think a lot of people tie faith as a way to get something but they don't have a way to understand the glory of God. I'm just going, how come nobody's ever taught that? Okay, Where's... okay, 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 okay. The glory of God is the treasury of God. We know that because the Bible says, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches. And where are the riches? Yeah. In glory. Right, right. So every supply that man will ever require comes from that glory mm -hmm. and the key to that glory is the faith so without the faith you don't have the key to the treasury trust without the key without faith you don't have the key to the storehouse of heaven because everything came out of that place and so it, 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 the funny thing is in the church when most things happen the church don't know how it happened True. Because they either, because one, it's not happened enough for them to establish a pattern for it, or two, they don't have a revelation of it. Mm -hmm. When either one of them are missing, most of what the church ever experienced, they stumble into. Mm -hmm. There is no stumbling into the glory if you have faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when there is no stumbling into the glory of God, without understanding you've got faith because faith is never on accident. Faith is always on purpose. See, there it is. There it yeah. is. And that's why uh, I don't want to get into the subject right now, but I'll just say, you know, is by faith, Enoch walked with yes. God and he was no more. So <clears throat> he discovered something there in the now of God. He's not waiting for a, an event to be redeemed. He's not yeah. waiting for any of that because he found the now. Exactly. 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 Yeah. And I, and I think because what I'm hearing in all this right now is you said faith is that key to that treasure room, that glory realm. But see, if you've never been exposed to the glory, why would you seek a key? 
you've been exactly. sought to teach it. You you were you were trained. I was trained to find the key to unlock what? Exactly. That exactly. you couldn't unlock glory because you didn't know you didn't have a reference. Nobody told me about that. It was always exactly. just you got to have more faith for what? Exactly. 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 And this is the thing that I think is so profound in all this is that, that is it it explains we built the key so powerfully, but we didn't know what it was supposed to unlock, which was the glory realm of God. Oh, hundred percent, a hundred percent. You know, there are, you know something, there are so many mysteries in Christianity that's not explained. Yeah. Or I should say, and, and in some cases looked over and undervalued. Um, we have to understand that the earth was always a reflection. Yes. In other words, the earth was not the place of originality. Mm -hmm. It was always the place of reflection. Mm -hmm. Now, I would tell you, in that reflection, there's a transition from eternity to time that people do not see. Mm -hmm. Because there are sometimes there are different realities because they're in transition to another place. Like, let me give you an example. The Bible says, I just, this is going to blow people's mind when I say this. The Bible says, for example, the lamb was slain mm -hmm. before the foundations of the world. Right. Now, process this now. If the lamb was slain before the foundations of the world, that means in heaven, they saw the lamb, but never knew the identity of the lamb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if if the identity of the lamb was revealed that it was the Christ, first of all, Lucifer would have known and he would have seen it. Yeah, yeah. And scripture tells us in 1 Corinthians 2 that the princes of this world did not know, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. And otherwise, the lamb in eternity in transition to time and was a man on the cross. Mm. Wow. Is that that's oh yeah, I, I see that 100%. And so it's a very it's a very powerful thing. And then we have to look at ourselves that we've not even come into who we fully are because we're we're transitioning into that place. Think about this. We it's almost hard to say this. Think about this. We are it might be a slow place, but we are actually even transitioning into our new bodies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a thought to grab. Now, here's that. As we come nearer to the coming of Christ, to the Christ, then that transformation is even going to be more accelerated. Absolutely. So what takes place, what occurs to look like an instant, it really took time to get to that place where all of a sudden it took place. See, that just opens up a whole nother re because, oh. <laughs> because see what you're saying is what you said in the book, you said the supernatural is slowed down and it, yes. we're walking it out in the natural. Yes. Yes. But if you understand that our walk is in the supernatural Yes. then time is out and you get the instantaneous of what's always been. Amen. hundred percent. And see what I, what I begin, this is something I was sitting with somebody the other day and it came to me, Dr. Rennie, in this whole walk with Enoch, I realized that even, you know, in Nahum was it one, two or one, three, where he says the clouds are the dust of his feet. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. You're going, Oh, well, man, that's, that's pretty spectacular because just the cloud kept yes. even the clothes and the shoes. They, they were alive to that dust. Exactly, exactly. And then you realize, you see Jesus saying statements like, well, if they reject you from the city, pick, take off your shoes, shake off the dust, the history yes. of where they came, and exactly. just forget that and let's move on. Yeah. But then I tied it to Enoch. It just came to me when I was talking to this person. I go, oh my gosh, it's all about the feet. The history of God was there in that cloud. And even the history of God was maintaining yeah. the life of the clothes and the shoes. Oh, yeah, it's provision, yeah. But Enoch figured out with his feet how to walk with God in the now of God. In the now of God, exactly, exactly. And it was a, it's a feet issue. It's how you're walking. Yes. Where, like you said, there's a transition. 
And I yes. think, you know, if I, this is my opinion at this moment, but I feel that in this revelation, I'm going, oh my gosh, he got in perfect stride with God and yes. God took him because he was in the now of God. 100%. 100%. It's your walk. You can speed up. I would think if I can say it this way, faith will speed up what the supernatural has in the now because you've been yes. trying, because the, the supernatural was actually slowed down. And it naturally looks like it's taking forever to get this yes. reality uh, versus no, it's always been. But oh, according to your faith or your walk determines exactly. how you're going to receive and when you receive that. Exactly. 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 I mean, Dr. Ray, that is profound. That is profound because uh, people think they're running with God or walking with God. And the reality yeah. is they're probably sitting, waiting for God to walk to them rather than them walking with God. Uh, exactly. 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 I mean, there's there's so much here, and I don't want to put so much out there that people, they need to just sit down and chew this for a minute yeah. and have this reality of, you know, there is no time, the time consciousness and the, the value of the glory of God, all that comes into play here, all of that. Yeah. Because um, it's if you understand the value of the supernatural has just been slowed down and we see it as this natural walk, God doesn't want us to do the natural walk more than he wants us to walk in the supernatural. So you're just going, wow, there's the now of God there and that substance of faith. People, I'm I'm totally um, feeling full I hear you. <laughs> on the value of what's here because this is profound. Um, I'd say 75% of the body of Christ is hung up somewhere on an incident where they probably believed for something, calling it faith. And yet they were just in the substance phase of it and they never got to the now of it. Right. That's true. Wow. That's true. Wow. All yeah. right, people. I wanted to say thank you, Dr. Rennie, for this uh, short little burst of eternity invading time. Not, Not only problem. people, you need to go get this book. You need to get into rmm.live. Go sign up for the teachings. There are many profound insights resurrection there's the faith of god there's infinity conferences there's many teachings on there the feast all that giving all that you've got to you've got to get into this and understand the mind of god and what god's doing through this powerful man um in the revelatory realm so anyway with that being said dr Rennie, again i say thank you because this this is a foundational stone in the kingdom it just is because it's part of the glory Will I find faith on the earth when I return? All these things, what faith to faith, glory to glory, all this ties together. It all ties together. That's and I job. and I love what you said at the end there, or you just said, are we walking into the newness of our body? Yeah, 1 Corinthians 15 then kicks in. Yes. Behold, I tell you a mystery. There's a trumpet that goes off because somebody's placing a demand on the now of God. Exactly, exactly. Wow. exactly. It's just like, wow, people. All right, Dr. Rennie, again, we'll see you here in a couple of weeks, January 12th through the 14th, 2023. I can't think of a better way to usher in the year than this yeah. profound understanding of the faith and the glory of God. Hebrews 11, one being un unlocked. You've yeah. got to be there, people. Anyway, thank you, Dr. Rennie. It's been so good once again, as always, so powerful. All right, we guys, we will see you all soon. I hope you are blessed with this. Please go back, watch it, get it until you get it. Listen to it until you get it and go yeah. from there. All right, Dr. Rennie, thank you. No problem. Bless you.